The funeral for the Texas deputy who was shot and killed shortly after filling up his cruiser will happen on Friday. Yesterday, President Obama called Deputy Darren Goforth's widow. In a statement, he promised her he would, quote, continue to highlight the uncommon bravery that police officers show in our communities. Omar Villafranca joins us from Houston. Omar, the accused gunman, Shannon Miles, was charged with capital murder yesterday. He has a history of mental illness. How could that impact the case? Uh, that remains to be seen. His defense attorney could possibly try to build a case around that, but it's worth noting that mental health uh, episode that he had he uh, from a 2012 assault uh, that was in Travis County, which is the Austin area. While a judge did find him uh, not really mentally stable enough to stand trial, later, uh, later on he was found mentally capable to stand trial, but that charge was dropped because they couldn't find the victim. Uh, Omar, Harris County Sheriff Ron Hickman has taken some heat for a comment referring to the Black Lives Matter movement. He said it should just be all lives matter. What have people in the community had to say about that? Uh, well, some people from the Black Lives Matter movement have commented in saying that they feel that the sheriff is politicizing the death of that deputy. I did talk to a criminal defense attorney here in the Houston area, and she told me that that's basically, uh, she feels that the sheriff is trying to kind of distort the case right now and dilute the Black Lives Matter movement by saying all lives matter. And the criminal defense attorney is saying because there are instances and data showing that uh, black citizens are shot and, and sometimes kill unarmed uh, more often. And Omar, what happens next in this case? Uh, the next uh, court hearing is October 5th. I did speak uh, to a gentleman by the name of Anthony Osso. He's the attorney uh, for Mr. Miles, and he says he does plan to enter a not guilty plea for his client. All right. Omar Villafranca reporting for us. Omar, thank you.